Let's look at how to draw a cumulative frequency graph. So with a cumulative frequency graph, you have been given a group frequency table. So this group frequency table is about, the table shows the information about the lengths of a type of fish caught in a lake. So these are the lengths and these are the frequencies. So there are three fish that are between zero, uh, greater than zero, but less than or equal to five. And there are 10 fish that are greater than five centimeters, but less than or equal to 10 centimeters, and so on. Now, when we have to draw a cumulative frequency graph, the most important thing to think about is the title, cumulative frequency. And this is why we have an extra column. Now, if you're looking at an exam, they'll give you this extra column. If not, then you have to remember to actually physically add an extra column. And all this means is that you are accumulating the frequencies. So in the first row, there are three fish. When you get down to 10, when we accumulate the frequency, we add the three and the next row together, which gives us 13. And then we go to the next row and we add on the 21 onto the 13 and we get 34. Then we move to the next row and we add on the four to the 34 and we get 38. And then when we get to the last row, we add on the 1 to the 38, and that gives us 39. So we've got 39 in total. Now, the cumulative frequency graph looks like this. So we have cumulative frequency up the side, and the question was about the lengths of fish. So the length is uh, across the bottom. Now, it's continuous data. Okay, this is why it's grouped. Okay, and what the way that we plot it is that we start here at 0, so we start at zero and then the, the first row ends at five and the cumulative frequency is three. So when we get to five at the bottom, we need to find three here. Now each one of these, each two of these, sorry, squares is worth one. So we need to go up to six to find three. Okay, so that's the first one. So between zero and five, it's rows from 0 up to 3. Between 0 and 5, it's rows up to 3. Now the second row, between 5 and 10, it's now gone to 13. So between 5 and 10, we need to now move up to 13. So this is 10, then 11, 12, 13, and we put a mark down. Okay? The next row in the table is between 10 and 15. So we need to make our table go up to 34 between 10 and 15. So we find 15 at the bottom and we need to go up to 34. And then we go back to the table and between 15 and 20, it's at 38. So between 15 and 20, we need to go up to 38, which is, that's 36. It's, yep. And then the last one is between 20 and 25, it's at 39. So when we get to 25, we need to go up to 39. Now, we don't join this with a straight line, we have to put a smooth curve through them. So starting from the first point, and we're gonna put a smooth curve through the points. And that is our cumulative frequency table.